Some of my best memories are from my Hua Chong days. Um, I think for one, um, I made very good friends um, and we've remained friends for life. Um, and really a lot of my memories revolve around uh, the experiences that we all shared together as 18, 19 year olds, fresh eyed. Um, my council days are probably uh, my fondest uh, memories. We bonded together uh, through so many experiences. We hardly studied and then crammed at the end of the year and thankfully all of us passed. Uh, but I remember all the major events that really bonded us together. I remember um, Mid Autumn Festival our year where we worked for hours and hours uh, to build a dragon that was going to be the centerpiece. And as you would recall, the centerpieces are of at most importance to a math. Um, our year, unfortunately, our uh, project was very ambitious and what was supposed to be a dragon ended up becoming more like a worm. So the day before math, we ended up abandoning the whole uh, centerpiece and instead really just had a moon, uh, which unfortunately uh, did not sit well with a lot of people who came to MAF. But that also taught me about the pride that um, so many alumni have in Hua Chong simply because it's the place that really built them in so many ways. Um, I still remember, and this is a funny story, how someone wrote me a letter to say that, you know, I'm not sure what you really were doing with the centerpiece, but unfortunately it didn't look like a moon, it looked like Roti Prata. I mean, now in retrospect, I can look back and laugh at that, but really those are uh, some of the fondest memories that I hold. Um, we laughed together, we cried together, we played together, we studied together, um, and I think those were really some of the most uh, formative years of my life. Um, the other thing that I actually really hold uh, quite closely to my heart is being one of the few Indians um, in uh, Hua Chong was to some extent a very special experience. I never felt any different uh, for being there. If anything, I actually appreciated being immersed in such a steep Chinese culture. Even though I've grown up in Singapore, I've always had Chinese friends and friends from Malay and really friends from all different races. I think Hua Chong gave me a very special experience um, in, learning, in learning the nuances of um, Chinese culture. I think it was very challenging to learn all the Chinese songs, but I prevailed. And as council president, I had to say the school pledge in Chinese. And it was interesting because my vice president was an American-bred uh, Chinese uh, girl who also didn't have a really good grasp of Chinese. So here we were two bungling uh, president and vice president trying really hard to um, say the pledge in Mandarin but I must say that I really grew to have an appreciation of the culture and really the language that um, I still have a flair for if you ask me you know if there's one language I'd like to keep continue learning it would be Chinese I think Hua Chong taught me how to have an appreciation of Tang poetry. Um, I, still, uh, I still really cherish the poems of Li Bai that I started reading uh, one day in the college library. Um, and um, I think these are, these are experiences that really I will carry with me for the rest of my life.